Speaking of Donald Trump, let's play this uh, little uh, Donald Trump on um, on Friday went to a uh, black church. What was the name of the uh, uh, the black church? The and it's in a new write up. I'm sorry. I got it here. It's it's a Great Faith Ministries in Detroit. The Great Faith. That sounds like one of those prosperity gospels to me. Uh, apparently, the uh, the pastor um, they did a prepared Q and A for an interview uh, the pastor was doing with Trump. So it really sounds more like uh, like a play performance, like a one act play that uh, Trump that went there for. And the big thing is that Trump was not going to actually speak to the congregation or hang around with the congregation. He was just going to show up at the church and go in the back entrance, do the one-act play, press was not allowed to be there, and then leave, and then I guess just write reviews of how well the play went. So we don't have much by way of a footage of Trump being there, but we do have video of him in the congregation, during the service, and as you know, uh, black churches tend to be, um, well, not all, but I guess, uh, you know, more singing-oriented. You get some of that, but like, I don't know. I've been to Jewish services where there's, you know, more singing than less singing, but generally not so much. Um, and I Christian churches that go either way. So Trump is there with his... Um, African-American outreach uh, advisor, Amarosa, right? She was, she was on an early episode of The Apprentice. And also in attendance is Ben Carson, his, um, I guess, presumably his other advisor, maybe future, I don't know, um, Secretary of State or... Yeah, I like that. Not Surgeon General, because right. that would be more unpredictable if he became Secretary of State. Yeah, you got to roll the dice. And... Um, there's two things to look out for. One, three things. One, how incredibly awkward um, Donald Trump seems to be in that setting. Two, the enormous lack of rhythm that he seems to hold. Whoa, a lot of black people around here. <laughs> yes, it Whoa. made it impossible for him to actually clap <laughs> with the rhythm of how people are clapping. It just seems to be like his brain just said like, I should clap. <laughs> he just starts clapping as if he was like, I don't know, at uh, cheering on an audience. And then you'll see it pans down to uh, Ben Carson, who's totally into what's going on. Here we go. He's going double time. And there's Ben Carson. Just buried, buried in his phone. And all Trump can seem to do is just sort of move his shoulders. There's something going on there. You now, need to figure out what the hell's going on with that. Uh, I have a text message. It, Quiet down. It reminded me of, of course, this great scene from the opening of the cinematic classic, The Jerk, <laughs> where. where a uh, grown Steve Martin plays a, uh, in his words, a poor black child on the uh, porch of a, I guess, a house it was in Alabama or something, in Mississippi. Here he is attempting to dance. <laughs> <laughs> there you go that just reminded me of that i wanted to watch that yeah much better uh, at least um you know in that movie steve martin did not wish horrible ill well to everyone there and yeah no steve martin was sort of in the spirit of it yeah exactly. if not exactly the coordination all right we're gonna take a quick break hello you i'm sam cedar 
Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And just generally enjoy us.